So let's look again at how Jesus got H-E-L-P, right? Let's go back to our acronym that I made just for you because you're so precious with the Lord's help. Help, right? Let's talk about H. That means you have to have. You got to know. You got to be a haver in life. You can't be a not haver. You got to know what to have and what to what you don't have. You got to be able to do a realistic inventory of your life. Jesus had an assignment. He knew I've got an assignment, but he knew I need more wisdom. We read Jesus had to increase in wisdom and he had to increase in favor with God and with man. I think about that and I think, Stephen, if Jesus had to increase in favor with God and with man, don't you think I do? Don't you think you do? If Jesus had to increase in wisdom, don't you think you do? Then we got E, express, H for have, E for express. You've got to express the ask, express your thanks. You've got to express your honesty. You know, you've got to ask the right questions. The Bible says that in Luke 2, Jesus asked the right people the right questions. You got to express. You got to say, hey, I need more wisdom. Jesus did it. Why can't we do it? Then you got L for lead. You got to be able to identify the lead. Isn't that so? I, he said, I had to be in my father's house. He said, I know where the lead is. I know where the mentors and the advisors are. And I had to be and identify the lead and be in my father's house. You got to source out wisdom. Wisdom just doesn't grow on trees. You got to get the right advisors and mentors. Wisdom is at the entrance, the book of Proverbs says. You got to source out wisdom. And then P, finally, for pursue, ask and keep on asking, keep seeking, keep knocking, keep giving, keep expecting, right? You've got to pursue. I'm amazed at how so many times I meet good people that are unwilling to pursue what God has for them. Why would you not? If Jesus had to pursue, why don't we have to pursue? Are you better than Jesus? Well, of course, you know that's not true.